In this video, we will show you how to use ODBC connectors with Factory Talk Optics to store data in relational databases. For this reason, we prepared a test setup on our local host with the database instance in Microsoft SQL Server 2019. Using the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, we created a new database called FT Optics DB in order to store data coming from our project. Now we will continue working in our demo project, My First Project, in Factory Talk Optics Studio. For test purposes, we will use an internal variable called ODBC underscore test to be sampled every second. Right click on loggers, then select new and data logger. A data log with the default name of data logger one is created. In the properties window on the right side, sampling mode will be periodic and sampling period will be one second by default. We will maintain these settings for our demonstration. Next, click on the plus next to variable to log. Add our test variable, ODBC test, by clicking and dragging it into the variable to sample one field. Now we need to specify the store property. This will be our relational database in data stores. We will have to create an ODBC database. In the Properties window, we need to provide all the required information to connect to the database. We will specify the type of the server, which is a SQL server, and we need to name the connector, which will be used to make an interface to the database. The connector has to be configured in the settings of our PC. Starting from the Windows Control Panel, you have to open the Administrative Tools and double-click ODBC Data Sources 64-bit. In the ODBC Data Source Administrator window, select the System DSN tab, and then Add. Select the ODBC driver for SQL Server, and then Finish. Now we have to enter the name of the connector. For instance, we will choose FT Optics Connector. Add the description, and enter the server name or address. Keep the settings in mind to be used later. Click Next. Now enter the credentials for your database, then select Next. In the next step, the default database will be changed to our database, which is FT Optics DB. Then click Next. We will keep the rest of the options as default. Now select Finish. Click on Test Data Source to test the database to be sure everything is working fine. Choose OK after seeing tests completed successfully. Then OK again to finish the ODBC Microsoft SQL Server setup. And finally, once more to close the ODBC Data Source Administrator. Now go back to Factory Talk Optics Studio, right click on Data Stores, then New and ODBC Database. A database with the default name of ODBC Database 1 will be created. In the ODBC database properties window, provide the DSN or name of the connector, which in our case is FT Optics Connector. Then enter the username and password, which were configured in the database server. The tables will be automatically configured as soon as we select ODBC database 1 as the store for data logger 1. Now we need some elements in the UI to test the project. We can use a label to show the value of ODBC test and a linear gauge to change its value. Next, we will start the emulator and make some random changes to the variable. We can check directly in the database to see what happened. We go to the FT Optics DB database tables in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and see the automatically created new table. Right click on DBO Data Logger 1 under Tables, then click on Select Top 1000 Rows and you will see the variable with different values.
To see data within the Factory Talk Optics project, we can now insert a data grid into the project. In your project, go to Type View, User Interface, and Data Controls, then drag and drop a data grid into the panel. Now just drag and drop Data Logger 1 to the grid, which will be automatically configured. Next, let's add a button to refresh the table. The button is under User Interface, Base Controls. Drag and drop a button to the page. In the Button Properties, Mouse Click Event Refresh is a method of data grid. Click the plus next to Mouse Click Event and browse to and select the refresh method. Now again run the emulator, and you can see the old values. Generate some new values. Then click on the Refresh button to see the values change in the data grid. Thanks for watching.